you were dealing with the one head wonder my apologies for that man today was a good day to start a vlog to eventually come back to my senses because i was listening to j cole oh no 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 j cole and there's a part of there's a line that he says and if you feel my grip loosening quick do something before you lose it for good get it back and use it for good ah, i was like i'm a little bit i'm feeling my grip loosening right now so i need to get a grip of myself but without any further ado Let's start this vlog and welcome to the flamboyance. As I've said before, welcome back to the flamboyance. If you're new here, I go by the name of Lumfundo, also known as Black Flamingo, and would like to welcome you to the flamboyance and hopefully you find some juices and some water to quench thy thirst, you know? And if you're a sabi, welcome back to the pack. Thank you for joining me again and thank you for showing the support to love on my first video, which was um, two months ago. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I am not embarrassed. I am not ashamed of yourself. I am. And I'll sincerely like to get that out of the way and apologize and sincerely apologize for like waiting your appetite and not getting into it. So it's like waiting your appetite and you know you're looking forward to the main course and you're not served and then they tell you like the reservations the reservations are closed, the restaurant is closed, or there's like a national lockdown. That's how disappointing this YouTube channel was. But the love and support really was super mega. I got the support from my mom and her colleagues, and I would like to sincerely, sincerely. I do think I should find other adjectives that describes how I'm feeling right now but I would like to express my gratitude for all of the love and support that you've shown me on my first video and hopefully as much as I wish your appetite we can get actually enjoy the full meal. Go take in that meal and drink that wine to quench my thirst. <laughs> so back into it. Um, Now that I got out of the way let's stop the negativity let's break that curse let's break the procrastination curse and get on with planning our lives where they said my life is in my hands yeah if they only knew my hands are so fragile they wouldn't they wouldn't put my life in my hands but you know what as a person it takes a while for you to grow and you know form into the person to be in your final form because you know caterpillars and metamorphosis yes Slow. but as much as i'm late to do this it has already been done but as much as i was like i liked to post the video i kept on creating a couple of videos but i didn't get a chance to upload because of the perfectionism and perfectionism with fear of failure and then the paralyzes but that actually sounds more of an like, excuse so i don't want to be a person that goes back on their words because they tend to lose respect guys you know that um, promise making a promise and keeping your word is quite important especially for your image and for your self-respect as well so i was promising in the first video i was like giving you guys a table of content of what's gonna be happening in my youtube channel and then i didn't deliver so it's a brand new year and it would be very ridiculous for me to revert back to my old 2021 years which prevented me accomplishing most of my goals hence we need to come back to this a vision board. There you go. So a vision board is where you guys um, you cut out pictures, more of a cut and paste activity that you paste um, things that to motivate you and literally your goals of what you want to achieve in a specific year or five years down the line. So the timeline really is um, something that you can decide for yourself, but it's always good to limit your your scope. Ah. It's always good to limit your scope. 
and limit your, the number of years so it's, it doesn't it doesn't overwhelm you to achieve your own goals. But before I did that, I had to write a couple of goals in my rose gold, looking like mermaid notebook. So I had to write and mind map what I actually want to achieve in uh, my 2022. And I realized that since I didn't achieve um, a lot of my goals in 2021, I'd like to give myself a chance to, to redeem myself. I would like to redeem myself in achieving those goals. So I transferred them from 2021 to 2022. I mean, it's a year of consistency, guys. There are just too many tools in 2022. So we're trying to push consistency. You push the P, whatever that is called. <laughs> so, and one of the aspects that I wanted to be working on, so don't mind me, I'll be referring to my notes um, and the mind map that I've drafted for myself. So what I wanted to do is literally the main goal for, 2022 is to have growth personal growth and personal growth really branches out to other aspects in a person's life that includes your mental growth your financial growth your physical growth your social growth um what else spiritual growth i should have started with that I should have lived with that because that's an anchor for a lot of people and it should be an anchor for me as well as your emotional growth so all of these other aspects need to be tackled so that you can fully understand and fully be in form and fully be a black flamingo that is really unique and really rare to find you know because in this flamboyance we only try to better ourselves we only try to make sure that our feathers are so slick that from a distance you would think you're looking at a white flamingo and boom it's a black flamingo what what you talking what you saying what you talking about <laughs> so I was able to achieve my goal of being a chemical engineer. I think I'll just position myself so you can, can be able to see me and see the board. But the board is important here, okay? So I was able to achieve my goal of um, finishing my completing my studies. Trust me, it's not a good time, eh? My my <laughs> as long as I'm good deal, guys. No reasons at Mala afterwards. Don't come at me. So I, was, I managed to finish my advanced diploma, which is equivalent to your BTEX in chemical engineering. Thank you very much. So um, now that I've obtained the backbone of my career, I need to... Now that I've obtained the trunk, the trunk will, yeah, the trunk of my career, I need to branch it out to solidify it, to make it like a beautiful, nice tree that somebody can pluck fruit from. So my goal is, um, mainly here is... Oh, especially in this section. In this section is career development. Being in the work environment, you tend to it opens your eyes in a lot of in a lot of things. Is that what you studied in university, you won't be able to use it without any other skill. And this companies out there offer you an opportunity to gain that experience and say that you have a certain skill to back up your engineering degree. And your engineering degree won't get you far, but you need other short courses, other skills, other um, what is your, overall experience, I should say overall experience, which is related to your course, to, to back it up so that they know that whatever that you've learned is, the, is basically in the background. That's sad though, eh? It's basically in the background, but what you can do, how, you, how are you applying all of that, right? So it's career development. And even though I created this video quite late, I managed to do two courses that were pretty much important, the pretty much a priority in my course. They are basically tools that I have in my bag again, you know, to carry, to grow and be able to find myself a new job that actually pays for what I have worked for. But overall is to develop the career because I already have the backbone, which is course that you do in your institution. I have this quote here, I, I took it from last year. It says, a female engineer is an, it's a, it's a noun. It's someone who solves the world's problems and looks pretty while doing it. Hello? <laughs> yeah, so it's mainly about that. And I mean, also uh, with my career is to find other hobbies. I've always gravitated, even in grade seven, when they're doing the career day, um, Career day, what do you call this? We had to dress up. 
dress up as, as who you, the, which career we ah. where you had to dress up as uh, um, the profession that you're looking into you know I mean I had archaeologists because I, I enjoy discovering new things until I realized that there's history and there's geography and I have to do reading and I'm just like you know what man? this is basically no I don't need to know about Mapungu but just point, it, point me to a cave and then I'll go and and dig out some crystals and some bones and whatever that is there and then display it to people as my discovery i don't need to know the history of it so you know yeah it's a bit shallow but you know that's what it is so i wanted to be an archaeologist and then i changed and then i looked into architecture and i'm like wow i love right now that's that's an itch that is still wants to be scratched so i'm looking into um pursuing that as a side then you know Hopefully we get my own consultation company. You know, if we need a house, then you know you're gonna call the Black Flamingo Incorporation, PTY Ltd. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so basically, I delegated 2022 to career development, meaning I need to be certified, and I also need to look into other hobbies that um, that will sharpen my skills and scratch an itch that has been itching since grade seven. And I won't tell you the year when grade seven was, but I was very young, of course. Spiritual growth, as I've mentioned, as part of my personal growth, I need to um, develop my relationship, not develop, but improve my relationship with Jehovah God, because it has, it, I think it has taken its toll for a couple of months now, and I, I need to crawl my way back to him, because he has been, uh, he has been holding me down for so many years, and he has opened a lot of doors for me, so I can't just abandon him like that. Um, I owe it to him that much, that I, sh I show appreciation to him, and I develop that relationship. And I mean, with all this turmoil that is happening right now, you definitely need an anchor so that you don't lose your mind. So spiritual health and spiritual growth is very, very important. So you should consider whoever you're praying to, or whoever your anchor that you think is, you must lean on to that. So that when everything goes into shambles, then you know you can go back. To, you can always come back to it. Then it keeps you, that keep it here, you know, and you don't go crazy like the rest. Next up in line is my financial growth. Financial growth is very, very important because, but in order for me to grow, I need to understand and learn finances. Gosh, it's a tedious, tedious, the most tedious thing to do. But it's very very beneficial especially if you're planning on breaking generational curses and whatnot so this book really that i've been um reading it's by um sam think the singer hopefully i pronounced her name right i don't know how fast people are with their names so it's by sam is manage your money like a grown-up so it has highlighted uh, i haven't finished it yet i think i'm in chapter six I'm in chapter six where you assess. Oh, first of all, you need to collect all the data, meaning you need to collect all your financial data, which is good because what, what I'm taught is that in order for you to get the true value of what is happening or to get a bigger picture of what is happening, you need, you need solid data, you need to work on facts. Guys, have an, exp have an Excel spreadsheet of all the finances. Have it. It's very, very important because if you see it, then you can see where your money is going and then you can make sure you can make, you can make adjustments of things that are very not that are not important if i just go eat your money did i say eat your money if i just still spend your money on cis money as long as guys okay so i want to be debt free meaning that um i don't want to be working towards paying something off unless it is an apartment which 2022 i need to get please lord <laughs> assist your daughter I need to be debt free unless I'm paying something towards an investment, you know, <laughs> then I know I'm losing money But I don't have any debt attached to me and even if I have any closing account I should be financially matured enough that I don't Waste or I don't use up all the credit that has been offered to me and I make sure to give them a call If they try to increase it because you know, I'm paying very well because these people tend to do that They tend to increase your credit limit because you're paying well They're like you know what spend more I dare to spend more. And because, you know, you saw this nice outfit, or your boy called you, like your boyfriend called you and said, like, you know what, let's go out. And she's like, I need an outfit, you know? And oh, I saw these new lashes. Oh, I saw these shoes. Oh my gosh, you know? And you end up spending unnecessarily. And then you overrun the credit and then you're stuck with it, you know? Debt free, it opens a lot of doors for me to go and do what I love the most. I think a hobby that I, I need to 
do on a regular basis to actually find that to determine if I do love do like it or love it. It's hiking. Uh, hiking and you know traveling as well. Because if I'm debt free then I have free money to travel and buy experience and be indebted to experience and be indebted to any institution that really takes people's money, any credit institution or financial institution. I don't know if it's right for me to call it that, but it doesn't matter because I think I understand what I'm trying to say. Anywho, so you see here at the bottom, oh yeah, right here at the bottom, so if I'm dead, so all of these things are like dominoes. If I hit a jackpot on here, then it just falls over to the other one. I think that's where, I think that's also why I put them like that. So financial freedom gives me a passport to be debt free. Not debt free, just ripples over on the other stuff that I really want to enjoy. And I enjoy it and while I'm making wise financial decisions that will not hurt my back as soon as I get old. So I don't want to be old and poor. That's what this book advised me to do. Don't be old and poor. Book reading books. So now that I've started, I've been quite inconsistent about this. I think I bought this book about a year or two years ago. But I was excited and then I read the first bit and then because of that motivation and that will to fix your life at 3 a.m. You know, you read the book and then because this book is as much as if it's like a self-help book, but it, you need to apply the things. It, it tells you that you need to get this and then follow step by step in order for you to find it beneficial. If not, then you're just reading it for pleasure and then you're just going to chuff it down there and let it get the dust. So if you want it to be beneficial for you, you need to read, take your time and read it. And um, there are other books as well that I would like to read. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, Seven Habits of Effective People, because, you know, you would see that the theme of the books that I'm trying to read are for civil personal development um, for what people do or what techniques people use it's not like I'm gonna follow what the book is saying per se because I need to tailor it to my life but I'll pick up a couple of things there and there and try them out okay but it's very important for me to build my knowledge as to how people think outside there and then how I can use it in my life and another one another one this was my wallpaper the minute it hit 2022. It says, yes, you can do it because you deal with a lot of self-doubts. Oh my gosh, that girl decides to overpower you. She will instill and call her best friend fear and she will paralyze you and you will stay stagnant. There's nothing more than I fear than staying stagnant and not progressing while I watch everyone else progress with their lives. So saying yes you can in, in like you, you tend to ask okay, like, can i do this I'm like yes you can you know when you open your phone it's like yes you can so you put all of these visual reassurance if you're not like a person that usually reassures themselves and actually listen because it's one thing if you don't listen to yourself and you hardly expect someone else to listen to you wow i just got deep i just got deep <laughs> so you need some reassurance so whatever phone because your phone you touch it most of the time if it's a lock screen if it's a lock screen or your home page then it, it reassures you like whatever you that you have in doubt my main goal as well to be a glow getter and i also wrote a definition here so i don't forget it says that a driven busy girl who strives to achieve her good her goals in life while attaining the beautiful glow both on the inside and outside so i took this down because um i think i was watching a movie and then somebody made an analogy of a swan I should have made an analogy of flamingos but you can see how they walk but a swan was quite perfect for this one because a swan you see it flowing with such grace on water but you don't understand the pedaling at the bottom would say, hey, hey, is it <laughs> But you wouldn't know this. You wouldn't notice until you're underwater and actually see, you know? YouTuber, guys! I started this channel because I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to hold myself accountable to the goals that I've just, just, I've just played to you right now. And by doing that, I wanted to invest in camera and buying a camera. So I saw a couple of uh, options and take a lot, especially for a salty camera. And I'm willing to buy it. And I think what I like about, um, take a lot of that of the payment options because it's it's quite an expensive um, equipment to have because you need to get that starter pack where you get your camera where you get your um the lighting your tripod so you can be able to get that proper proper quality i've been doing my research my brother and i have been doing some research on the best starter so we don't we're not trying to buy 
a camera for now and then buy another one later on and maybe we could do that maybe i could do that because they don't want to buy cheap stuff first and then i don't know what the analogy is as long as i have a starter then and i will push me to get a better camera but i need to know how to use it first so i'm looking into buying a camera so i can film better and have a better quality and be like a proper youtuber i'm not you're talking about that and be like oh my camera battery is dying <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i like the options that they have i'll show you just now here on the side that they have um like you, you can terminate whatever that you need and then offer to pay on a monthly basis like you, you are late buying it like or getting another credit and you pay i like that option because it makes you you don't feel it that much but you can use the equipment for so long a lot of people are quite skeptical about um sharing their goals because they are too it's, it's how they grew up as well or how they feel about them but if you tell people your goals there's a sense of accountability to them but again it's a danger because they release some dopamine some scientific stuff and then you feel like you've accomplished the goals and you don't feel the need to you know but if you respect your word enough then you'll be able to live up to it because people are actually watching you even though they won't tell you that you are falling off but they are watching you this vision board, it is pretty late, is in March already, falling into April, it is pretty late, but I mean, why would I wait for the 1st of January? I mean, if it's time for me to put my life together, I need to do it right now, and um, I'm trying to draw up a schedule as well, so I can be able to follow up a schedule on it. My time schedule, and I know on my day, these are the things that I need to do, because I tried using to-do lists, and they end up not, not all of the tasks have been ticked. And that kind of brings a person down because you're trying to, you know, be diligent in your work and to, you know, leave a mark and that person is being efficient. You're going to use so many different things and hopefully um, you are going to enjoy the journey that I'm taking you along because this is like, as much as I gave you the table of content, but this is the proper table of content that I have. And uh, now that I put myself out there, I feel even more accountable to you guys and to me as well, most importantly, about what I want to achieve throughout the year. And then I'll do a review towards the end of 2022. And I pray to God that um, he hears my prayers and then he blesses me enough and sees that I'm worthy of whatever that he wants to give to me and not true time. Then we'll review, but I'll keep working hard at it because um, God blesses those who help themselves. So, yes, thank you so, so damn much. Please don't forget to subscribe, show some love by liking and to spam in the comment section. Have you guys uh, planned out your life? How do you do it? Do you write it on a note? Um, do you do like what Jim Carrey did when he wrote like a hundred dollar check on a piece of paper and then put it in his pocket and later on, you know? Uh, please write in the comment section what you have used, the techniques that you've used. I might have learned quite a couple of things and the other, flum other guys in the flamboyants might be able to pick a thing or two um, from your techniques because we all, um, we all are different and we all adjust to different things and we all respond to different things as well. Um, so what techniques have you guys used? Have you ever drawn up your vision plan? If not, girl, please start now. Start when I'm magic after this video though. Just watch the video till the end and then we can stop. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and then share with your friends. Tell your friends to tell your friends about the flamboyance. And you know, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, hopefully we'll see each other on the next video. Bye. I don't know what my intro is. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna find myself as time goes. I don't.